What happens if you're using Spotify at an event and the Wi-Fi cuts out? It's gonna be crickets. It's gonna be silence. Here's how to avoid that. It's by downloading playlists in Spotify to your computer so that if Wi-Fi cuts out and you're using a downloading playlist, it doesn't matter, your music will keep playing. So let's take a look at Spotify. It's really simple to do. On the left side of your screen is going to be all of the different playlists that we have. So here I've got classic hits. I've got funny walk-up songs. That's from something that I did with a group. There's dance floor hits, lip sync battle. So I'm gonna go to classic hits and uh, this is just music that is fun. It's lighthearted and it's just classic rock. And I'm going to come over here and there is a play button, an enhance button, and a download button. All you have to do is click this download button and then you're gonna see that it's going to start to go through your playlist and it's gonna download these songs. The way you know that the songs are downloaded is if they have the green arrow that is filled in and it is staying there. Now, if I come to a different playlist, let's say it's one I haven't downloaded in a while, I'm going to go to uh, Christmas Name That Tune. I'm gonna hit the download button and you can see that it takes a second for it to download. I'm going to then go to, okay, I want to have a playlist that I can just walk away from. Maybe this is a Christmas 5K, Christmas in July 5K. And so I go to uh, the start finish line. I'm going to hit download and it's going to scroll. You can see that it's loading, 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 and now it's done. So it went through and it depends upon your internet speed and how many songs you have, but it might take a while for you to download these songs. Let's say I want to uh, do another playlist, 90s hit top 100 songs. I'm gonna hit download and I've previously downloaded that one so it did it pretty instantly. Another reason why you wanna have your Spotify playlist downloaded to your computer is let's say for example, you're logged in on Spotify on your computer and you're logged in on your Alexa at home. If your computer is playing music from Spotify and you're on the internet and you're at your event and then at home, someone like, uh, I've got a five and a half year old daughter and she loves telling Alexa to play certain songs. Well, if I'm playing music at an event and I'm connected to the Wi-Fi and I'm on my Spotify account and my same Spotify account is logged in at home and my daughter tells it to play it, it's gonna interrupt my event music in order to play music at home. So what I need to do is I need to download the playlist that I want and then I want to go to my event and I wanna turn Wi-Fi off on my computer so that it's only playing the songs that are downloaded on my computer and if someone else that's also logged into my account wants to play music elsewhere, it doesn't interrupt me for my event. Then finally, if you wanna see which playlists you have downloaded, all you have to go to is on the left side of your screen, if you're going to scroll through your playlist, you can see that, yep, this one's downloaded with the green arrow, this one's downloaded, this one's downloaded. So it's really simple and really easy to download them and then to see which playlists are downloaded on your computer. And then let's say, for example, you don't wanna have that playlist download anymore, you wanna download a different one, you're going to hit the remove download button and it's going to remove them from your downloaded list. And that's how you can avoid the awkward silence from Spotify cutting out at your event, either due to Wi-Fi or someone else hitting play on your account.